I definitely feel that a lot of you guys are talking about, you know, taking a relationship to the next level as well as, um, you know, potentially getting married. And I do feel for a lot of you, marriage is greatly, greatly indicated for the second quarter of the year. So that is going to be April, May, and June, with May greatly indicated, and um, June greatly indicated for a lot of you. And, you know, it is also your birthday time as well. So I feel like a lot of people, you know, that might be coincidental or it might not be. So I definitely feel a lot of celebrations coming through for you, a lot of family reunions as well. But there's definitely some major, major talks about taking a relationship to the next level, not um, wanting to commute the distance to see a significant other, or you might, you know, both decide um, let's get serious with one another, let's move in together, and then let's just establish and incorporate um, each other into one another's family unit. So it looks very, very successful. For a lot of you on the work front, I do feel that um, you might have felt that a previous work environment was very, very restrictive and it doesn't bode well uh, with you or it doesn't, you know, it doesn't jive well with your energy. So you want to seek employment opportunities elsewhere, potentially relocating for employment opportunities um, in a f different country or even in a different geographical location. You have learned all the skills that you need in order to um, leave that previous employment opportunity. I do sense that, you know, once we stay in a place and we have learned all there is to know, it is in our best interest to move on and learn something else or learn a different skill or just, you know, leave that environment for something else. So it's sort of like I feel you have outgrown your place of employment and a lot of you are looking for new opportunities and you're keeping yourself very open-minded and I do feel that you know for the past three years as well a lot of you have been dealing with a little bit of a, a financial uh, instability or even you know um, fears when it comes to financial lack but moving forward I do feel you're showing up here as the Knight of Pentacles so you have that financial foundation you know that you can land another job without a problem so you're moving forward in a very positive manner and you're not going to be dragged down by you know this sense of uh, financial lack mental lack or you're not going to let those fears that have kept you in a miserable workplace environment in the past, you're not going to let those fears affect you. So a lot of you are coming into the first quarter of the year in a very beautiful energy, in a very uh, empowering way. And it's kind of like you're, you know, swinging the doors wide open and telling the world in a subtle way, not screaming to the world, but telling the world, here I am. This is what I have to offer. And I know that I can be successful. So it is a very, very stable, beautiful energy. And it's not egotistical. So I do sense that a lot of you are just starting this year with a lot of hopes, a lot of aspirations, and you're going to be able to achieve them. Now coming in for the second part of this year, it is the continuation of the same types of energy, but it is shifting into the relationship um, sector, okay? So the first three months was about um, rebuilding a work foundation, and it is about landing that perfect work. The second part of this year is more relationship oriented. And I do feel for a lot of you who are thinking about marriage, this is when it comes in. And I do feel for a lot of you, it might be with a water sign and an earth sign, okay? I feel like very strong earth signs coming through for a lot of you. But there is also, you know, a romantic interest, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For those of you getting married, it is most likely, most likely with another earth sign because um, the Hierophant is showing up to the next to the Knight of Pentacles, which indicates to me some type of a escalation in the relationship and also um, taking the relationship to the next level. I do feel as well, for a lot of you, um, we do have the Ten of Cups here. This is the month in which that whole, you know, concept of emotional happiness is like the culmination of everything in our lives that make us really, really um, happy, joyous, and just ecstatic, okay? It is the card of ecstasy, achieving everything that you've hoped and desired. So, and you have the victory card. So, it's just the second quarter April, May, and June 
are going to be bountiful times for you and you're going to be so happy. So I definitely feel all the people that are showing up here. We have the Page of Rods, King of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. They're all showing up in the upright position. They are there to help you. They are there to lend their emotional support, first of all. They're there to guide you in the right direction or at least brings fun and excitement into your life. And they're also there to give you um, intellectual expertise, guidance, consultation, and you know, just overall, it's a very good energy. All the people are in the upright position, you're being supported, you're getting a lot of success and a lot of emotional fulfillment coming through. And that is going to play out as well on the work sector, where whatever work situation has been problematic, especially in March and February, they're going to turn around all for the better. And I do feel stall communication and things like that coming in for February are being cleared up or, you know, you have an opportunity to clarify misunderstandings with another person. So you're going to be in a very good environment right now. I also feel that, um, let, me, let me try to flush out this message because I do feel that it is significant, but um, I'm trying to see how, in what, aspect it is going to play out I do feel so this is um, specifically for a very small minority of you okay when it comes to family relationships I do sense that um, this is if you've had a long-standing battle with somebody a family member from the past and you have never ever ever been able to you know reconcile that relationship or you have never been able to fix it I do feel that you're going to come into this year um, at least finding a way to navigate one another without causing uh, emotional rifts in the relationship or you're going to you know it's basically like a truce this is how I am it might not jive with how you are but we are going to have to work together and we're going to be okay for a lot of you it is a significant uh, family relationship like a mother father father is um, indicative here is indicated here excuse me and also a brother um, for a lot of you this can be somebody in the work front and I'm sensing there is a little bit of an age difference whoever this person shows up in your life I do feel that um, it the relationship itself has been a struggle and it might have been a struggle starting in early this year or just throughout your life so it's somebody that came in this year or somebody that has been around for quite a few years and you're able to reach a truce and you're starting to realize and they themselves are starting to realize that there's no point in trying to fight things okay so you're in a very very good place right now for a lot of you um, I also feel as well uh, for Gemini's coming in for the third quarter of this year so this is going to be July August and September there is a lot of busy work energy and I feel that for a lot of you um, who are looking for new work opportunities you are sending out resumes I feel that you're fixing things up and um, delivering them so you're 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 doing something and I feel like it, it uh, for a lot of you who might be dealing with creative projects where you're working with your hands in order to create something you're working very very diligently throughout the night to meet a deadline and I do feel that you know there might have been some type of um, whatever the initial amount that you were supposed to you know churn out they're upping the amount so you're getting a lot of good feedback which means that people your services are in high demand however you can't handle the the logistics on your own it is really important for you to take on a partner and I do feel that you are going to encounter somebody who is very, very like-minded, who is very um, creative, who is very just and righteous. And this is going to be a very good relationship partner for you as well. For a lot of you, you might have a partner in the form of a Libra. Okay. Um, for a lot of you too, there might be some legal issues coming through when it pertains to a contract, when it pertains to some type of property as well. And I do feel for a lot of you, it is just uh, legal paperwork, okay? So this can be starting a new job, merging um, your company with another person, taking on a partner. 
and uh, or even selling you know major major properties is what I'm major major um, selling like like a, a big item like a car an estate uh, a plot of land is just a very very big sale or a very big purchase and as a result of it there is some type of contract coming through it, I don't feel that you're in trouble in any way and once again the third quarter is also a very good continuation of um, the the very beautiful lighthearted you know emotionally gratifying energy so a lot of you are in a good place right now um, for those of you who are thinking about you know wanting to um, I'm sensing here incorporating a love partner into the work environment so this can be you know meeting somebody um, during April May or June and then realizing that oh they they work in the same field so maybe I should you know not only offer them a work uh, a love relationship but also a work partnership because I know that I can trust them so it is a beautiful energy it is full of light-hearted um, you know the ma the decisions coming through are very very major life-changing decisions and events but I do feel you have proper support from those that you love and people around you where you are going to breeze through it okay so there while there is a lot of work you are being helped and you are just feeling very ecstatic and very on top of the world so Gemini's you do have such a beautiful spread you have such good cards and you know the energy is so smooth and it's just it's so heartwarming and heartfelt and I feel like this is something that you've needed for quite some time it's sort of like you finally find a place that you belong and you don't mind staying there and building a life for yourself so a lot of you might have started out the year wanting to find this place of peace and tranquility and comfort and you are going to be able to achieve it very soon as soon as um, I feel you know the the spring equinox comes in like around the middle of March until April that's when things turn around and it is in such a positive light so coming in for the last quarter of the year we do have you starting out as the page of swords which is basically learning a new new skill and this is um, doing preliminary research in order for you in a, a in an area that you're not comfortable with in order for you to formulate a plan okay and I do sense for a lot of you this might be you know going opting for self-employment opportunities opting for a business license with a new partner opting for you know buying um, I, I feel that for a lot of you it could just be finding a location in order for you to start a business or finding a way to incorporate your knowledge and make it into a self-employed business self-employed um, venture so you're thinking about working from home you're a lot of you are thinking about you know how you can make this come to fruition because this is an area that you you feel like you might not have the expertise in but instead of consulting somebody you're I feel like you want to do the research yourself you want to lay the groundwork for yourself and you want to just find out for yourself that way you know if this is indeed something that you want to do and for a lot of you I do feel as well if you are you know engaged by the very beginning of the year and not married I do feel that the ring shopping or the whole process of event planning all the luxurious things that are coming into the picture and you know forming this union is possibly coming through the very end of the year for a lot of you as well so if you ha haven't gotten married the beginning of the year I do feel for a lot of you this is a the upping the commitment as well okay and I do feel it might be with the same person so it's upping the commitment and taking things to the next level and this is something that is giving you cold feet but you are embracing it and you're realizing that it is making you a better person so you're not going to shy away from it I do feel as well for a lot of you um, there is you know oppor well there are plenty of opportunities for travels but you're going to have to forego them mainly because you have a lot on your plate you have plans and projects 
nearing completion and you're thinking about travel so don't get yourself distracted don't think too much about faraway lands when you've got realistic when you've got a lot of responsibilities on the practical front that you need to take care of so i would say delay any trips if you must take a trip do it in um before the first half you know do it do it during the first half of the year and if you absolutely must take a trip, I would say that August and September would be favorable. Any time during the last um, quarter, you are going to be pushing up against a lot of responsibilities and time constraints, okay? And you're also not in the right frame of mind to plan things in a logical way. So, because I feel like a lot more research, whereas, you know, executing plans, is it's really not happening right now. A lot of you as well, are looking at your past and um, there might be a new relationship partner coming through from September onwards and I do feel that in September the relationship might have just been very casual and then you're realizing that you know you have very strong feelings for this person and you're thinking about them all the time and you can't get them out of your mind and you're thinking to yourself you know is this love or is this just um, something else. So I, I feel like that childlike energy is coming back into your life. And a lot of you are trying to, trying to find a way in which both of you can be together. But I do feel that the solidifying um, of this new relationship, if it just came in on um, in September, if it came in around September, a new relationship, I don't feel it is going to be taken to the next level until, you know, 2017. Because I do feel that there is an element of geographical distance and also life um, differences in, you know, life paths coming through for you and the other person. So either way, it is going to be a very, very beautiful, blissful year for a lot of you guys, Geminis. I do wish you the best. And um, I do feel that the overriding energy for this year is that Things are very stable and things are just very blissful and you the danger here is that you might let real world responsibilities fall on the wayside so you know try to keep on top of things have to do lists like by the month so that you are on top of your obligations so that um you can enjoy life without having worries okay so it is going to be a much needed break of a year that that is going to be very therapeutic for you and it is a very beautiful energy full of love passion emotional support 